In this video, I'm gonna be going over my camera back for 2022. Um, it's very similar to what I had for 2021. Um, I like to try and keep things as lightweight as possible. Uh, this is a run and gun situation um, slash passion projects. Quickly pack the bag, go out, get some shots basically. So I'll make this nice and brief. So in the front pocket here, to unzip. Uh, for my audio solution, I have got the Rode Video Micro. This is really portable in size. Um, there's nothing on the mic itself to control the audio. That's all done through the cam, basically. I've also got in here a top handle, which I use for my camera. Um, this is for if I want to get some really low shots, uh, if I want a handheld look, which I'm sort of favoring more these days. And um, what's brilliant about this is not only the ergonomics, but the top here, you have um, space for a monitor. So you can actually mount a monitor, or if you want, um, I guess the mic can go up here as well. Uh, and yeah, now the lens traces has changed a little bit here. So my go-to lenses for 2022, uh, first of all, is the Sigma 24-70. Uh, brilliant little lens. Um, I use this quite a lot this year actually. Um, it is a tad bit heavy, but not too heavy for it to become too much of a burden or you know really difficult to sort of lug around or anything like that. But um, optically, this is it's just a it's a brilliant lens. Absolutely love it. So um, this is one of my lenses. So the other lens that I'm going to carry around with me for 2022 is the 35 millimeter g master lens from sony um before i was actually religiously using the 40 millimeter sigma but as you know with sigma lenses well as most people know with sigma lenses they are uh, relatively heavy and they're pretty big as well and for the five millimeter difference i'd rather carry around something that's lighter that's gonna have better autofocus and it's just going to be more reliable in the day, basically. If we're comparing the two when it comes to IQ, I do think the 35 GM is on par with the 40 millimeter from Sigma. So um, yeah, trading the 40 millimeter for this beautiful 35 millimeter G Master from Sony. Okay, so the camera body that I'll be using for 2022 will be the Sony A1. This is everything I've ever dreamed for in a camera. Um, and I'm speaking outside of the 8K functionality. Uh, I mean, the 8K helps, especially for cropping, reframing, um, and just if you want that, that all that information, all that detail in the video. But I mean, the APS-C mode is is what really drew me towards this camera. And um, I mean, it's 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 just, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I can see myself using this for the next five years quite easily i don't feel like there's gonna well there's nothing i can really upgrade to now at this point in regards to mirrorless cameras but um this has definitely future proofed me uh for some time now so um this will be my 2022 camera and onwards um i'm kind of hoping someone doesn't bring anything out that's too good because i don't want to spend any more money but um this this is yeah right now this is my dream camera and i'm really happy with everything that it does um especially the screen. I've never been a fan of the tilt flip out screen. Um, this, yeah, this is everything. My, doo -doo, on the side here, uh, memory cards. So, um, I mean, there's probably too many cards in there. So I'm a big fan of the pro grade 256 gigabyte cards. Um, these are the best cards I find for Sony. Um, and they give you the 4K 60 um, or intra you can shoot on these basically. Um, so yeah, and I've also got a lens pen for cleaning my lenses. And you've also got the brush on the other end. I always find these little things are quite important just to make sure you're getting, you know, the best out of your lenses basically. Make sure they're clean. And in this pocket here, I carry around the new iPad mini. This is if I want to be sort of running around um, and I can edit on the go, basically. So um, I use LumaFusion if I'm going to do any sort of quick editing. 
just to throw some sort of content out there on Instagram. Uh, and I've gone for the biggest size just so I can fit everything on here that I need to basically. So just to go over everything again, uh, we have the Sony A1 will be my main body for 2022. We've got the Sony 35 millimeter uh, G Master Lens 1.4. We have the Sigma 24-270 f2.8 lens, the art, the top handle from Small Rig, the um, Rode Video Micro mic to use for obviously audio, a lens pen, um, and I've got the Pro Grade memory card in there. So yeah, I pop these back inside here. Yeah, that is my 2022 bag. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop them below. All the links to all the products will be below as well. And I will see you next time. Peace.